Hey guys, so I have a new bracelet to show you, and it's called the Two Fish Bracelet. So I call it the Two Fish Bracelet because it kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, like two fish tails to me, and it only takes two pins. So I created this, and it's the variation of Tutorials by A's Frilly Braid. I mean, oh my gosh, French braid. And I'll be using these colors. I'm just getting my rainbow in, by the way. Um, I'll be using confetti and mother of pearl. So, the next bracelet I'll be making is the Bonita bracelet that I created. So, I create all my bracelets that I post on YouTube. And after the Bonita bracelet I'll be making, I'll be making this bracelet. I know what it's called. I just don't want to say the name. Oh, well, I'll just say it anyway. It's called the Zigzag Track. And surprisingly, this actually takes two pins. See, I'm making it right now. I just thought of it when I was watching tutorials by A's, um, I don't know what it's called. Inca Bracelet Inca. Yeah, Inca Bracelet. So, sorry if you can see the bands, but it's just... Trying my best here. I have, I have a really good song stuck in my head. That had nothing to do with what we were talking about. But this bracelet um, doesn't require many bands. But here's the bracelet. This one's from my friend. I just, because I wanted to make a variation of the French braid. And I just thought of it while I was um, looming. Actually, I was thinking about making bracelets for my friend, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I should do this. So, what you're first going to do is you're going to make a figure eight, push it down, and then you're going to grab our next color and just put it on normally, and then get another band and place it on normally. You're going to hook it over the bottom band, push it down, you're going to grab your next color. That's not the right color, sorry. And now here's where the part pattern starts. So you're going to do an inverted fishtail on one side. Push back the middle band. You're going to grab the bottom, hook it over, and grab the middle band here. You can see like it's like the French braid. I don't know how it makes the little zigzag pattern in the middle, though. A little bit confused about that. I think it looks pretty cool anyway. Just decided it to call the two fish brace because it kind of kind of reminded me of two fish tails. Don't know why. So now you're gonna hook the bottom band here. Ooh, ooh, sorry, the inverted fish tail here. Ooh, and the middle band here. Oh my gosh, I have such good lighting today. And you can see your bracelet starting to grow. Um, so you're going to grab your next color. I'm using Mother of Pearl. You're going to do the inverted fishtail stitch here. I don't want to go too slow for those advanced loomers. And I don't want to go too fast for those beginner loomers. But this is maybe a beginner bracelet just because it's really easy. All you need to do is learn how to make the inverted fishtail, and you'll be fine. <sighs> and um, maybe the um, fishtail too. Oh, wrong color. Sorry, I just get really confused. Let me see if that's yellow. Is that yellow? Yeah, because that's the green. So you're going to place on your yellow, and you're going to hook over the middle band here, and do the inverted fishtail here. If you can get that, if I can get that, and you, as you might, you might not get that the first time. Here's a bracelet, though. I know it's crazy how I make up all these original designs. I just think of other people's ideas, and then I try to put them into my some of my original designs. 
and um, I just do that. This one. That's exactly what I do. If you are ask, if you're going to ask me that, so you're going to do inverted fishtail here, and then you're just going to do a single here, because that's what makes a single. If you want to make a single with your fingers, stretching out. <laughs> I'm going to make this bracelet in the limited edition bands to see how it looks. But I'm going to stop showing you that because it's really annoying. <laughs> so I'm going to grab your next color. Put it on. Oh, and you need a C-clip. I'm so sorry. I always forget to say that. And then you're going to hook over the middle band and do the inverted fishtail here. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Good, it made the inverted fishtail. To check if you did an inverted fishtail, just pull it out. And if the band's underneath this band, that means you did it correctly. I think this pattern looks really cool. Like the, the color combo I used. You can you can use this color combo too in your bracelets. I'll leave a link in the description box to rainbowloom.com so you can get the bands. So you're going to place it on your next color. And then you're going to do the um, inverted fishtail in the spin. I know that because this is a lacy kind of band. And the lacy bands get do the inverted fishtail. And then you're just going to do the single here. I think I come up with good original designs for you guys. But comment down below if you think I post good original designs. I want you to be honest, and I don't want you just to ignore this comment. And I know I have five subscribers. That's not many <laughs> to you guys. Maybe you have a lot of subscribers. I don't know. But I don't care how many subscribers I have. I just care if people watch my videos. So I'm happy with that. And I like when people comment. I like when people just ask me questions. I love questions. Unless you're like, oh, how is basketball practice when I'm, like, so tired? Honestly, I don't like those questions. Oh, my gosh. I just did an inverted fishtail there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is what happens when I space out, people. That's what happens. So, I'm just going to grab this band. And sorry, you see that little white thing. Let me just move that. There we go. You can see a little bit of it, but not much. There you go. And then, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, stop moving. Sorry, my camera loves to move. Yes, no! Oh my gosh. There we go. Sorry, that little corner thing. I don't know what that is. I think it's just a shadow. Oh, I'm nude. Uh, uh, and then, sorry, I keep on stretching. You're gonna do the inverted fishtail stitch here. Ooh, there we go. And then you're just gonna do a regular stitch here. Ooh, there you go. I'm gonna take this off for you guys. Well, actually, I'm just gonna do one more band. Let me see if I have another pink band. Ugh, see if I have a pink band in this. Yes, I do. My loom is pretty far away from me. Like my storage case. Well, my two storage cases. I have two storage cases. Well, three. There's one's over here. But I can't show that one because it has my real name on it. So. And um, you're going to do inverted fish still here. And then you're going to hook over this band. You're going to add this band. Hook this regularly. And do an inverted fishtail here. I honestly love creating original designs for you guys. Because I just love YouTube. And I love you guys so much. And if you, if you subscribe to me, I will love you forever. And if you email me, I will tell you my name. Ah. But you cannot share it on YouTube. If you do, then I will kill you. Just kidding. But I'll just get really mad, and I will stop making videos. 
<laughs> I'm sorry guys, this is the way it is. So you're gonna hook over this band, and then you're gonna hook over this band. Sorry for if I'm being mean to you guys, I'm so sorry. This is how I'm gonna get less subscribers. But I know there's one person who will stick to me because I just subscribed to myself. I'm so sorry guys. Well, my other YouTube channel subscribed to me. And here you go. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make my two fish bracelet. And I will see you next time. And please remember to subscribe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is this is a lot like my dragon stripe bracelet. Only because on the side. Inverted fish tail on this side. It's a single. So it's a lot like my inverted. Oh my gosh. My dragon stripe bracelet. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Please subscribe. Bye.